comme j'ai mangé. Salut! Subscriber Antonio asked me, Hey Rochelle, can you explain the difference between l'accent grave, l'accent circonflexe, and l'accent aigu? Absolutely. In case you don't know me, Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Belter Academy. Jumping right in, the first one, l'accent aigu, is your acute accent. So think of it as being a little bit higher pitched, so to speak, as uh, the equivalent of a, like in day, but we don't pronounce it the same way as you would in English, right? So it would be a, comme fait, comme étudier, comme j'ai mangé. So again, it's a little bit more of an intonation towards the, towards like upward. The second one is l'accent grave. So think of it as being more grave, as more serious. Not really, but it's a little bit lower in tone or in tonality. And a little bit more abrupt, like if you're saying, hey, eh, like uh -huh. eh. So examples of that would be like cher ou père, après. So it's just a little bit more subtle in a way. It's not as like, who open? It's a little bit more closed. And finally, l'accent circonflexe, ou le chapeau chinois, which looks like a little hat, actually sounds the same as l'accent grave. The difference is that it really is based on the word, meaning that like in the English, a lot of times when the word has a circonflexe on it, it was used to replace an S that was existing in the English language. For instance, forêt, forêt would be forest with that little s, so you can recognize it. So look at it more as like, how what would this word mean in English while I will pronounce it with the same intonation that I would with accent grave. Antonio, I hope that that has answered your question. Yes. Please leave me comments below to let me know how this might have helped and how I can help you best. I'm gonna provide you a last tip when you're learning accents and you're learning how to pronounce things. I want you to do three things. The first thing I want you to do is to visualize how you would say it. So where you'd place your tongue, open up your mouth, lips. So if I say it's more open or if I say it's like more grave, like you try to visualize that. Second of all, try to do some hand gestures. If I say, accent circonflex that's going to help. And then the third thing is clearly simply to practice by listening, repeating, recording yourself, listening to that and possibly comparing. A bientôt tout le monde.